So question five is asking, sorry. Bromine has two isotopes, okay. So one of them has atomic mass of, so 79 bromine has atomic mass of 78.9183. And then the other one, 81 bromine, has a mass of 80.9163. Okay? And I was asking this. Oh, why does it keep turning? What the fuck? And I was asking this that without using a calculator, okay, you want to be able to find the percent abundance of 79. Okay? So let's see here. If we look at the periodic table, our actual bowl of bath for Groby is 79.904, so almost like round up to 80. So we have 79.904 that was given for Bromine specifically. So now how do we figure this out without a calculator of how much a constituent is? So if we rounded this, okay? We have, just to make sure we're following along, we have 79.904, which can kind of round here to 80. Now, we're doing this for good reason, okay? Is that now, if you look at the isotope for bromine, we now have 78.9183. Kind of round that, that gives you 79. And if you rounded the 80.9163, you get 81. Now, how is this relevant, okay? Without using the calculator, you would see that it's almost a 50-50 split because halfway between 79 and 81 would be 80. So, in a sense, for the mass, molar mass of bromine, you need an equal contribution of both isotopes to get that atomic mass unit of bromine. So, that being said, I predict that without a calculator, what you should be really getting is around, okay, 50% in regards to how much one of the isotopes would contribute to that weight. So the percent abundance of BR79 would be an estimate of 50%. And now hopefully you saw how I was able to do that. So considering that we had only uh, bromine, uh, what we have to do is make sure that um, we could get these numbers in a way that made it a lot more sense to us. And once we were able to do that, we could see the relationship a lot clearer that between 79 and 81, it is 80. So they had to both meet at the halfway point for that to occur, which is kind of what happened here. So with that being said, according to this, this would be very correct. And this is also solved with a calculator, just to make sure. And they found that it was around 50%. So now let's move on to question number six.